What up? This is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Woo! We got another brief intro. We got the legend. You know, we got the, we got the bitch. We got the bitch that that you know created the baddest bitch. Oh, I'm a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? This 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 is the motherfucker. This is the legend that created that shit. This is the legend right here. Your girl Trina. Let me look around for a second. Your girl Trina, the baddest bitch. This is first. This is her first album. Uh, she came. She became famous off of Trick Daddy. Her and Rick Ross were um, were. They came. They came from Trick Daddy. I think it was Slip and Slide at the time. Plies came from it too. Now, what's interesting is Trina became a legend in her own right. It, it, it's crazy. And uh, she did have a new album come out about two years ago. Uh, all the legends are falling off. So I'm trying my best to save all of them. So here's another young legend. Uh, here's another legend. We got Trina with the baddest bitch. Let's go over her first album. And shout out to uh, Mulatto. Shout out to Mulatto for putting Trina back on. But let's go over the features, man. Let's go over the features. We got the Lost Tribe, Jill Sobule, Lois Lane, Trick Daddy, Jay Shen, 24 Carrots, Twista, Deuce Poppy, Trey Six, J A B A N, and Pamela Long. So then we got our next album, YouTube. Don't you know? Don't don't do me wrong, YouTube. We got our next album, Diamond Princess. Again, who says Diamond Life? You know, uh, fucking all types of say everything that everything that these girls say nowadays. Sweetie and them and and fucking Mulai comes from Trina. It's all Trina, man. Trina, Trina, legend out here, man. Put some respect on her name, man. Let's go over the features. We got a 2002 Rick Ross verse. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to dissect the fuck out of that song. That shit's going to be hilarious. Uh, Missy Elliott, Ludacris, Money Mark Diggler, Tweet, Deuce Poppy, Fabulous, Lil Brianna, Eve, and Bathgate. Let's go over her third album, Glamorous Life. This 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 um has one of her most legendary songs. This was back in the days when uh BET was popping and shit and when when we used to joke around as kids uh because I didn't go to damn loud as hell. I didn't go to high school to 2006. I graduated 2010. So in the early 2000s we uh, you know, if you had any type of black in you, you were black, you was watching BET. And the song I would play all the time is, well, let's go over the features, right? We got Dre, Lil Wayne, Lil Scrappy, Kelly Rowland, Snoop Dogg, Money Mark Diggler, Manny Fresh, Jazzy Fa, Rick Ross, Deuce Poppy, Trey Songs, Plies. So, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So here we go, here we go, here we go again. That song stayed number one forever. All you hear on BET is Mary J. Blige and this song. Oh, and maybe like Nelly, the one with Kelly Rowland in it. They they promoted the shout out Kelly Rowland. She should have had more albums. I don't understand. Kelly Rowland could drop an album. People are gonna fuck with it. I don't I don't understand why Kelly Rowland just don't drop albums. So. If if you were if you were born in about if you were born in the early to mid nineties and you was in a predominantly black neighborhood or a household, you know what here we go is. You know what that song is. Unless you're like weird, you know what I mean? Like like you, you know what this song is. Everybody was forced to hear that song. That solidified Trina after that. 
and we got this this fourth album still the baddest let's go over the features again there's a song missing uh i just want to get these brief intros the, the, the fuck out the way we got killer mike keisha cole missy elliott shawnee pitbull quote and rick ross and for this one, it was a single again. I think she was in a relationship with Lil Wayne before this. And then when Lil Wayne became, became was, was at his biggest, they kind of broke up. I mean, any it's anybody's guess. He's probably fucked with so many girls after that. This was this was this was Carter Three Lil Wayne. Carter Three this is Carter Three Lil Wayne. This was Lil Wayne was at his peak. So let's go over her next album. Amazing. Let's go over the features. Who that? Oh. Let's go over the features, man. We got Carrie Hilson, Puff, Shawnee, Lady Saw, Nicki Minaj, Monica, Florida, Get Fresh, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, Life Jennings, Kalina Harper, Trey Songs, Shawnee, and P Dub. What was the single from this joint? I think it was Million Dollar Girl. I don't know. By this time, people were pretty much done with Trina. See, I, I think the thing is... I think the thing is... um, People are pretty much done with you in hip-hop after you... Uh, after your fourth, fifth album, people are practically done with you. You're, you're 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 practically done. After your fourth or fifth album, you're practically done. Uh, let's go over her next album. She had that single "Red Bottom." Everybody heard that was the last big hit Trina had. Let's go over the features. We got Tierra Marie, T Pain. Maya, Rick Ross, Lil Brianna, Black Dada, Veronica V, Nisha, and K Michelle. Should I delete? Nah, I won't keep that on there. And this is her latest outing. The one. Let's go over the features. We got your boy DJ Khaled. On the intro, Light Skin Keisha, 2 Chains, Wayne, Plies, Boozy Badass, Nicki Minaj, Rokois, Seven, Motley Brazy, Tokyo Jets, Dave East, Rico Love, K. Michelle, and Kelly Price. So yeah, uh, Diamond Princess, the baddest bitch. You know, uh, you know, Sweetie, Sweetie know about the, Sweetie knows about Trina. You know, your mulatto your mulattoes know about Trina. Everybody knows about Trina. Trina's a legend. Uh put some respect on your on her name. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. This your boy Devontae for Devontae's Paradise. Anyway, peace.